Hello once again, dear viewers. You're watching Eri TV. Welcome to our news broadcast. Here are the headlines. Seminar on combating harmful traditional practices in Mandifara. Soil and water conservation initiatives in Maimena subzone. Iran strikes targeted militant group in Pakistan. Romanian farmers ramp up protests, block Ukraine border access. A seminar aimed at combating harmful traditional practices detrimental to women's psychological and uh, physical growth was recently held in Imnahaili uh, subzone. Nurse Barahi Takhle, head of the Kudoba Ur Health Facility, highlighted the seminar's goal to enhance the communities and, partic and particularly students' understanding of the impacts of underage marriage and female genital mutilation, FGM. He emphasized the importance of empowering public and students to actively participate in eradicating these practices. Acting Subzone Administrator Ms. Tirhas Fagadu also urged the community to take a proactive role in mitigating harmful practices in their areas. The seminar conducted uh, uh, with the participants engaging in thorough discussions leading to the proposal of several initiatives, including the enforcement of stricter measures against underage marriage. Soil, uh, a significant soil and water conservation activities are being carried out in my Mena subzone since October, aiming to improve the environment and consequently boost agricultural productivity. This initiative also includes refurbishing schools and upgrading dirt roads. This popular campaign by members of the Defense Force in the area and spearheaded by agricultural experts encompasses the construction and refurbishment of terraces and water diversion systems, renovation and expansion of roads, as well as construction and renovation of schools. Mr. Rahas Alane, head of the agricultural office in the subzone, praised the participants' enthusiastic participation in the campaign and urged continued efforts for even greater results. A Defence Force member coordinating the campaign emphasised the importance of community involvement in the environmental rejuvenation efforts, including in the Greening campaign. A dynamic educational and sports week is underway in Ginda subzone, engaging students from 23 schools. The event, which began on January 11, aims to help students discover and cultivate their talents, according to Mr. Rashid Mohammed Osman, head of the Education Office in the Northern Red Sea region. The week uh, features a diverse range of activities, including general knowledge contests, debates, and sports competitions such as football and volleyball and athletics. Mr. Gabriel Jesus Malas, head of the Education Office in the Subzone, emphasized the event's role in fostering experience sharing among students, highlighting the efforts uh, of the week's importance in developing skills youth. Mr. Mohammed Abdullah, head of Culture, Health and Sports, urged the community to actively support the initiative to ensure its sustainability. That was our domestic news. Please stay tuned for the international news right after the short break. And in our international. Iran says it has hit a militant group in western Pakistan in a missile attack, its third airstrike on another country, this week after earliest uh, attacks on targets in Iraq and Syria. Iranian State TV said the operation hit two sites in Balochistan linked to the militant group Jaish al-Adl. Pakistan officials said two children were killed and three others injured. The latest airstrike comes at a time of growing tension across the Middle East, with more than 100 days of war between Israel and the Palestinian group Hamas in Gaza and recent U.S.-U.K. airstrike on Yemen, from where Iran-based Houthi militants have been attacking commercial shipping in the Red Sea. 
China today urged Pakistan and Iran to show restraint and avoid actions that would lead to an escalation of tensions. Tehran says it was targeting Jaish al-Adil, or Army of Justice, an ethnic Baloch Sunni Muslim group that has carried out attacks inside Iran as well as on Pakistani government forces. Romanian haulers uh, protested on the outskirts of uh, Bucharest on Tuesday and blocked lanes in uh, the street crossing on the Ukraine border in northeastern Romania, causing more than two hours' waits, according to border police data. Farmers and the haulers started uh, protesting eight days ago by blocking highways and uh, showing traffic and convoys of tractors and trucks decked in Romanian flags. The protests are against the high cost of diesel insurance rates, EU measures to protect the environment, and pressures on the domestic market from imported Ukrainian agricultural goods. Agriculture Minister Florin Barbu and 10 farmers associations on Monday said they had reached an agreement on a number of demands, setting clear deadlines for meeting them. But the protests have continued. Haulers uh, were still in negotiations with the transport and finance ministries. The protests want a memorandum of loan repayments, faster subsidy payments and separate lines at border crossings and the Black Sea port of uh, Constantia for EU lorries and trucks from outside the bloc, including Ukraine. Please sit now for a recap of tonight's headlines. Seminar on combating harmful traditional practices in Mandafara. Soil and water conservation initiatives in Maimonese subzone. Iran strikes targeted militant groups in Pakistan. Romanian farmers ramp up protests, block Ukraine border access. And that was our news for tonight, dear viewers. It is good night from us.